The next 10 years will bring more change than the previous 100 years. Did you know in America, 72% of Americans think that artificial intelligence will bring the end of humanity. In Europe, about 50% of people that are around 30 years old, they say they won't have kids because the future is bad. We're going to reboot our economies from the fossil fuel economy to the green economy. The World Economic Forum says 100 million new jobs in the green economy. We have lots of problems, but our capacity to solve is mind-boggling, truly mind-boggling. Digital twins in factories, new kinds of energy, 3D printing. Look at what ha what's happening here, for example, in the area of professionals and managers. Having AI will lead to new jobs that, that haven't been previously discussed. Just one example, social media, as good or bad as that may be, has led to, to uh, the creation of 21 million new jobs. 21 million. That jobs didn't exist 14 years ago. We have to decouple emissions from the growth of GDP. That's the mission. The next 10 years will bring more change than the previous 100 years. Artificial intelligence, quantum computing, nuclear fusion, genetic engineering, synthetic biology, geoengineering. And whoever is in charge of just one of those could potentially run the world. If you're in the business of selling dirty energy, in 10 years, that's considered a crime zone. $2 billion are made in profit in oil companies every single day. That's a hard one to beat you know, when you're thinking about sustainability. We want purpose, people, planet. We want more than one thing. We're not willing to sacrifice our future because we'll make more money that way. In 10 years, in 2030, we will no longer consider anything impossible as far as technology goes. You want to upload your brain to the internet in 2030? Well, you can do that today. In 2030, the question is no longer if technology can do something, because the answer is yes. The question is, who does it and why? So, you heard it here first, green is a new digital. That's where everything is going. And so this becomes as normal as 20 years ago, you know, the internet itself. Business as usual is dead or dying. And I think it's a good idea. Because business as usual worked when it worked, but it certainly isn't working now. After 25 years or something, you know, all of a sudden, here's a big incumbent company under fire by a new momentum of technology. Computers are no longer stupid. Generally speaking, we can say we're, we're getting to cognify processes. Not everything that can be automated should be. And basically, we should automate maybe as much as necessary, but not more. Every single product will have AI built in, already has. We just don't really see it that way. Really, it's a platform shift as well. This app, if it was fed with good data, it could make 50,000 itinerary changes in 12 seconds. Certainly beats regular customer service. <laughs> the end of routine is coming. The really the worst or the best part is this. Routine knowledge work. You don't have to learn Excel anymore. You just speak to the AI. So you make a super complicated spreadsheet with the revenue flows for the last five years. Compare them to the future. If you work like a robot, a robot will take your job. Tell it your kids. You learn like a robot, you end up working for the robot. If you're a taxi driver, move up the pyramid and become a philosopher. Yeah, good luck, right? That's, it doesn't work that easily. I think ultimately, logic alone is not enough. Pure intelligence can be very dangerous. We don't want a company like OpenAI becoming the Tyrell Corporation of 2030. If you watch Blade Runner, the first one, you know what I'm talking about. It could be heaven or it could be hell. And this is something we have to think about when we think about general intelligence. Technology doesn't have ethics. It's a machine for crying out loud. It knows nothing about beliefs or feelings or standards or any of those things. The question is not what AI will do to us. The question is, what do we want AI to do for us? Embrace technology, but don't become it. Because when you become technology, you're a commodity. Stay human, stay creative.